Supreme Droplets. This is a dead week on the channel, man. Halloween came early. So there's some spooky ghosts and breaks we're receiving from Supreme this week. That's not going to stop us, though, from still finding some bullshit to waste some money on. I don't know if you guys have heard the news. There's supposed to be a hysteric glamour collab coming out. And if you saw my live cut from last week, I dropped like $500. So I was low-key a little scared that we were going to get that collab this week. I was going to end up on the streets. Like, I, I don't know what I was thinking last week, but I spent way too much on those Bones thermals and shit. But uh, this week, we finally get a little break. There is some good personals in here. We're going to figure out what's going to resell, what I'm going for, and what I recommend for y'all. So drop a like if you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, I don't got much else to say, man. Let's just get into these breaks. Really fast before we crack in this droplets, I always got to remind you, if you want to join my private cook group browser, head over to the top link comment, get a free seven day trial, get assistance with buying stuff, my recommendations for every single week, alongside monitors and anything else you need to make money off of reselling clothing and accessories. And also, if you want to join my free discord, there's a link there to join. Come say what's good to the browser boys. You'll see me in there before the releases. Let's get into talking about this drop list though so uh just doing a quick scroll through Ugh, i don't know man uh there's not anything that catches my eye too crazy i do see one decent cop here but starting it off we have the meter x spirit level um these are pretty fun 48 for a level is kind of like <laughs> what are we doing but um i mean these have really solid branding and i like the colors man this yellow colorway i'm definitely a fan of i would think the red's gonna do the best between the two because y'all just always want the same shit all red accessory that says supreme on it i mean i got 50 of them myself so i don't know why i'm talking but um yeah it's a pretty fun one definitely cool for someone to use imagine you have someone come and work at your crib they pull out the supreme level bro i'm giving that guy a beer expeditiously maybe even my girl's number yeah these are really cool i don't really have much use for one myself and 48 is a little too much for me to pay uh for just like a stupid little item to put in the background but honestly this would look cool in the little like desk setup or something especially if you're actually going to use it um so not a bad start next up we have the mohair beanies and i know these look really good on the surface 44 bucks is actually a crate i swear these used to be like 60 bucks or some shit maybe i'm tripping i gotta take a look am i actually bugging out these have always been 44 okay that's actually a really fair price um, now granted this is gonna be itchy as fuck on your forehead if you've had any mohair items before you know they're kind of brutal on the skin so that's the one drawback of these um but looking at the prices of prior releases these have certainly aged well however they are starting to release them every season so they're not really getting to the prices they used to. I've had some mohair beanies back in the day. Uh, I feel like I just sold one somewhat recently and they sell for pretty good profit. Um, and this is going to be a candidate for the douchebag of the week cop because you can sell this as a prior release. One of the other mohair beanies that have released from Supreme. I always tell you guys I've done this before. It does say the season on a tag inside of the beanie. However, StockX, them motherfuckers just doing their nine to five. They don't really give a fuck, man. They've never rejected an item from me personally. Personally. So honestly, if you want to try it, be sneaky. You could probably cop one of these. Try to sell it as an older release because I'd imagine it's probably going to break for a little bit on the market. I'd be going for the black one personally. That gray is probably my second favorite. I kind of dig the gray. Oh, wow. They've actually done the gray as well before. I don't know. I would just really stick with the black one here. Um, that's my person. Between all of these, I would really just stick with the black colorway. They've done a purple before, um, a little bit of a different shade, I think. They've done a gray before, but the black is just my favorite. It's a classic, very wearable. Um, I just think this would be so uncomfortable. That's that's why I, like, I would never put one on my head, but maybe some of y'all would like it. Uh, but moving on, probably the most like worthwhile release but moving on, the double knee painter pants. I have like 10 pairs of Supreme double knees. It's honestly one of my favorite pants. The fit is just really nice. I go true to size, size 30, per 30, but uh, they don't fit too slim. They don't fit too baggy. It's just a perfect fitting pant. Um, you got that cool like Liberty print on one of these, which is real funky, man. The light blue as well as that Liberty print are my two favorites here. A plain double knees, not gonna be going for money first day. Or if you want it for the personal, it's honestly like my favorite pant to wear. I can't tell y'all how often, like almost every day I go outside i'm wearing some supreme double knees so uh yeah i heavily fuck with these not I don't know if I'm going to get one or not. I might get the light blue pair. That or the black, like I said, the best to invest in. Moving on though, we have the push pin set. 32 bucks, not too bad. I was a little worried these are going to be kind of expensive for no fucking reason because it's Supreme. But, I mean, you can't be mad about this, man. You get eight pins for the price of 32. Now, they are kind of weird pins. Like, they're just like your normal like push-in pins. They don't have like the clamp or whatever. Um, and they're all gold. Like, I'm not a huge gold person. I, I really don't wear any gold at all. So, that kind of 
is what throws me off for these. I wish they were silver and I'd like it a lot more. Um, but honestly, like if I were to buy these, which I am really thinking about, I don't even know if I would take them out of this set. I feel like it would just look like shit if you had just one missing. Um, so this is kind of a display item. I like, I don't know, as much as I do love these, at the same time, it's not like a needed cop. And honestly, most of you won't really have much use for these, I would imagine. You got like a little Murakami looking one. Um, you got a little flower looking one. Fuck them on one of them though. That's how you know I'm copping, bro. I just need something to say fuck on it. I'm there. So I think I'm going to get one of these. Uh, 32 bucks, not a bad price. And it's Pink Collector Boone over here. So, you know, I got to get one of these for the culture. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it's really going to age up in its price that well. Maybe it goes up to 50 bucks at best, but um, kind of a brick. I'm not going to lie. Next up, the micro down half zip. We get these every season now. Um, honestly, I'm super over them. Every once in a while, they'll hit us with like a cool print on one of them. I don't think this sand desert camo is one of them though. I mean, you get this skin in Modern Warfare 2 at like level five. So that should tell you all you need to know about this print. Um, but yeah, these are getting a little stale for me. I wish they just gave us like a normal anorak, man. Like we've gotten the micro down half zip every single time, but we only get an anorak every couple seasons now. Those anoraks from last season, like if we got different colorways of that shit, like every season, I'd be a way bigger fan. I think it's just like, I'm not a big fan of the whole micro down look. Any style jacket like that, I've just never been a big fan of, so I think these are skips. Brushed wool suit, probably gonna like somehow sell out randomly. Honestly, it looks to be pretty nice, but I don't think any of the boys are going prom shopping this early. It's a fun item, but honestly, go get your suit from somewhere else. I would not be buying it from Supreme. Uh, Stripe zip, long sleeve polo. The colorways here are just, ugh, they're not very good, man. The navy's okay, the strawberry shortcake is definitely not okay, bro. I just, I hate that one. 118, um, these have potential. They had better colorways maybe, but uh, those are definitely skips waffle plat hooded shirt another item that has some potential if you had some better colorways but these ones are not doing it for me i wish supreme just came out with some normal uh waffle flannels because that's definitely a style i very much enjoy if this was just a plain black uh flannel maybe i'd go get one the other colorway feels like easter -y or some shit to me i'm not really liking the paleness of it um i wish we had gotten like one other colorway for this one it has some potential not a bad idea not a bad personal not gonna resell though uh state zip up hooded sweatshirt i gotta say man this blue colorway i've been looking at it like i don't know why it looks so much better than the other two colors it's like a very rustic light faded light blue um i would love to see this on more like hoodies and shit like that it's a really nice color um the supreme state on the back i absolutely hate i think it looks terrible terrible um but that blue colorway is kind of fire man uh but this is definitely not gonna flip 188 man just too expensive and we got the aoi quilted work jacket 298 bro god damn AOY be running up a check on us. It makes sense. I mean, look at all the embroidery going on. You guys already know I got my AOY work jacket from last season. It's one of my favorite items in my collection now. Um, I gotta start pulling that out now that it's winter. Holy fuck, I didn't even think about that. I've been waiting, bro. I bought that in the middle of spring, summer. Um, but these are pretty cool. Uh, I think the brown's my favorite colorway, honestly, even though it looks better on the black. Uh, but I don't know, the whole pandemic business on the back, I feel like it sounds all political, talking about the pandemic. Everyone's like, oh, Corona, like, I don't know, bro. I wish it didn't say that on the back. Um, the actual graphics pretty cool though. Uh, oh, we got titties on here. Oh shit, bro. I didn't even realize that. Um, it's like a cool print, but I don't know, man. It's kind of random for me. It's just something I can't. And like the whole pandemic shit, say like I don't know, man. It's a little corny in my opinion. I guess is the word I'm looking for. I didn't want to say it, but like, sorry, AOI. No shots fired. I still fuck with you. I think the art and everything is cool, but it's gonna be a skip, especially at 300 bucks. Uh, Cordura ripstop camp cap 54. I mean, I've seen these go up in price before. I can never knock a camp cap completely, but 54 bucks for ripstop that seems kind of outrageous. So, those are skips. Uh, but this might be actually my favorite sleeper of the week that I'm definitely gonna be copping the Liberty uh, six panels. This is such a unique hat from Supreme. Um, I'm assuming artwork by Willow. Is this actually the print we're seeing on those jeans? I said it was the Statue of Liberty print. I think it might actually be this. But I think it's actually the print from this hat. I'm just an idiot. Um, I don't know, man. These just feel so gothic. Kind of. I hate to say it, but I'm gonna say it. Love my Ken Carson fan, bro. Just joy, lonely opium. Man. This feels a little opium. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it's just got that grungy, like affliction kind of look to it, which has been super in lately. Um, black colorway. I really like this, like purple one too. Even the khaki's okay. I think you're gonna see me picking up at least two of these, maybe even three, bro. That khaki's not bad either. But the black and the purple are my favorites. I might even 
definitely keep one of these, man. I'm a really big fan of this hat, and this is certainly not something you're going to see again from Supreme. Might have to hold it for a bit, but I really do think these are going to age in their price nicely. I'm a big fan of them, and I think it's one of the cooler, more unique hats we've seen all season long, so I'm in on those. Oh, I almost skipped over the chenille sweater vest. Uh, no issue with these, just very blank for me. Like, I feel like you could easily find this at a thrift or something like that, or even like online eBay Depop for 40 50 bucks if you want to. It does say Supreme on the back and it looks pretty sick. I'll give you that, man. Um, I do like the Supreme hit on the back side. Like, it looks pretty nice knitted in. Um, my favorite is probably that brown color, but if I were to buy this, it'd probably be the black. Uh, I've been wanting to get a nice knit from Supreme. This one's a little too, like, boring for me to spend that much money. Um, but I think we'll actually end up seeing them sell out. I'm sure people will like the pink one the most. I feel like that's easily going to be the most popular. Uh, and it looks the best, but um, I'm going to be passing. I could definitely see these selling out though i feel like people are gonna fuck with them they don't do a lot of great vests with supreme so some potential but a little too risky for me to cop there's not gonna be a ton of sales volume an item i'm very undecided on the brush stripe beanie uh dude these look so fucking cozy first off but uh second that's a really solid design you just got a nice stripe supreme oldie logo good colorway lineup i kind of wish we got just some like knit sweaters with this exact same look to them because i think that would have been a banger for the winter time um the light blue certainly catch my eye that's for the girl but like for your lady for Christmas I mean dude that's a nice ass looking beanie um, the brown's not bad the black's a classic 44 is not a bad price either I kind of have a feeling this might be a beanie that goes up in its price over time um, I'm a fan of them man I'm trying to talk myself out of it because I'm not trying to spend too much but like uh, I feel like I got to get one of these to hold on to. I kind of have a feeling about them. They just did those space dye beanies like a week or two ago, and those are actually already doing pretty solid. Um, they're going up in their price. They sold out decently fast, so I don't know. I, I kind of have a feeling on these as well. I, I might just get one of them, maybe the light blue or the black. I can't decide, but I think it's a worthwhile beanie to hold, man. We're not going to see another print just like this. It's definitely going to take it a couple months, but like come around like December time, I'd be shocked if this wasn't at around 70 bucks, maybe even 80. Um, Micro down pant, hell no. Don't even gotta talk about these, bro. I fucking hate them. Uh, the Ohm short sleeve top. Let me take a look at this. Uh, okay, this is actually pretty sick. Oh, damn. You know what? I actually sort of like these. Uh, I was ready to hate on them. That like, I don't even know what to call this front color. Like this weird mossy gray colorway. That's pretty hard. 88 though, not doing all that, bro. 88 is just too much bread for me. Um, but honestly, a pretty cool print for the short sleeve top. AOI stacked hooded sweatshirt. This is where I'd be talking about, bro. They'd be nerfing my boy AOI because these are just kind of weird to me. Sort of boring. Pretty blank front side. Really clean though. The colorways are actually amazing. This blue color they brought out. Uh, we're going to need to see some more of that, man. I, that's like an Akira colorway I remember from that collection. Um, love that like tealish color. Uh, the gray is not bad, but overall it's kind of a boring hoodie, but honestly it's also clean and pretty wearable. Finally, the enamel small box six panel. Absolutely hate those. And that's going to do it for the week. So uh, my recommended cops, maybe a mohair beanie in black if you want to try to sell it as a prior seasons. The double knee painters are probably my most confident hold item. It is going to be a hold. It'll take some months to get up in its price. Liberty six panel, which I'm going to get two of. Um, um, I just, I really believe in those for the long term, man. I think it's a really cool one. I might even keep one. Chanel sweater vest if you want to be adventurous in the pink color, but I'm going to be passing. Uh, breast stripe beanie, maybe the blue, black, maybe the brown. I'd get one of these to hold on to. But aside from that, nothing too crazy coming out of this week. Honestly, a pretty dead week, which is a good thing for me at least because I need to take a break. Uh, but let me know what you guys are going to go for if you're going to go for this release. It's been your boy, Boone. I'll see you on the next one. Live cop on Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out, man. Peace.